What is going on my locotes? It is your Vato Spike and I am back with a brand new video and today's video is going to be top 10 scariest ghost videos you've never seen. Um, I hopefully I haven't seen them before. I've been watching a lot of these videos. I did binge watch a bunch of his videos before so I've seen some of them but then again I always do forget. So like hopefully we do enjoy them. Um, hopefully you guys do enjoy them. I do enjoy Nuke's top 5 most of his videos. <laughs> I do <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I do enjoy most of his videos, and hopefully you guys do. Um, I'm ready to get creeped out. It is 12.02 in the morning. Um, I'm going to do this as most entertaining as possible. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and that sub button. It really helps out the channel, helps me grow in this YouTube world, makes me better, gives me, um, makes me more confident to make a lot more of these videos so that I know that you guys will enjoy and love every single one of them. Well, anyways, you guys, without any further ado, let's get right into the video. You made me nervous! <laughs> Fuck! You made me Sorry, you guys. I will be in an awkward position with my headset and all that. I did get blasted up again, so um, it's going to be harder for me to have this on here. I don't want anything to like put pressure on it because it does burn. And yeah, you already know. Top 10 ghosts caught on camera. It follows. Nuke's top five viewer, MK1, worked overnight security at a brewery. He says that one of his co-workers always claimed to experience spooky occurrences around the factory. But MK1 never believed him. Until this night. On this particular night, his friend says that he felt that something was watching him. Maybe even following him around the brewery as he went on his nightly rounds. That's so mad. You can see that the guy checks behind him several times, almost as if he expects to see something there. But as he turns to walk away, that is when some odd misty shape can be seen following behind. Oh, Needless to say, after this video, MK1 never doubted his friend again. And also needless to say, they were both chill. to the core you know what Man. you know if it were to if it were to be fake i would think that it was a reflection from the people who are recording right now of someone's shirt or something like that if they're wearing white it could be a reflection off the monitor but if it's not damn that's crazy and also needless to say they were both chilled to the core by this strange video apparition even creepier MK1 says that soon after seeing this video with his own eyes, even he began to experience bizarre occurrences around the factory. Through the looking glass. In this classic internet ghost video, a man in South Yorkshire, England claims that his house is haunted by the ghost of a young boy. One day he hears strange sounds coming from one of the rooms and begins filming. Was this video taken in the 1940s? Like, dude, why are people taking videos with bricks nowadays? Or, like, they literally grabbed cheese from the refrigerator and took a picture, a, a video. Like, I, what the? Bro. Enjoy yourself, though. Enjoy yourself. <sighs> Come on. Pull another one out. Pull one over one out. Pull one over one out. I hope. This video was taken before Christ. This this video was taken in BC, bro. Okay, now. A drawer opens on its own, and the heavy mattress falls over. But it gets even stranger. When the man is panning around the room, this. Did you see it? The shape of something that looks like a small boy seems to be peering back at him in the mirror. And when he pans the camera back, the shape in the mirror 
has vanished. Dude, I can't tell what anything is. This, I, I don't like this one. This video. I don't like this clip right here. I... So is this a ghost caught on camera? Or just an elaborate hoax? Elaborate hoax? It's a crime to still have a flip phone. You decide. It's just a prank, ghost. An employee at a supermarket in Scotland seems to be having a very bad day. Okay, I've seen this one. Yeah, I've seen this one. <laughs> I remember this one. It's, it, 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 fuck shit, it messes around with him. It's funny though. It's hilarious. Maybe if you had an ass, you would have found it. Now, no worries. Mom. The woman wasn't seriously hurt and only ended up with a sore butt. However, she did take quite a tumble, but when they look back at the CCTV footage, they notice something really strange. As the woman goes to step up on a crate, some unseen force seems oh, to yank it right out from under her foot, Hello, causing her to take a hard fall into a store display. Store owner Imran Ali said on social media that it was, quote, the store's resident ghost. Now, I'm certainly not saying that this is a 100% real ghost video, but the fall this woman takes definitely looks real. So I don't oh, yeah. think that was planned. And on an unrelated side note, this guy looks like the worst coworker ever. He just kind of sits there with a goofy look on his... <laughs> hey, don't hate on him. Then again... Bro, if a coworker you do not like that probably gives you crap, she oh, for all we know she annoys the hell out of him. They look like they weren't talking. That person falls is the first thing you do really gonna help them. Think about it. And if I seen that, I wouldn't know what to think. First, I'd laugh, get in some tears, wheeze a little bit, then maybe be like, "What? What the hell just happened?" But come on, like be real, be real. Face and offers absolutely no help whatsoever. <laughs> but uh, moving on. Is this just a weird slippery floor and bad timing? Or is the store haunted by a prankster poltergeist? The ghost doesn't like you her, the doesn't like her, come on. Now you see it. Reddit user Jake Matt says that his friend's little sister was home alone playing around with Snapchat when things took a turn toward the bazaar. So casually. First, we see that there is nothing behind her, and then, seconds later, it looks like some strange figure is standing there. Oh, it wasn't there. Jake says that the girl was still home alone when she watched her video back, and she was terrified. The Watchers. At a celebration in Mexico, several family members are taking swings at a piñata, but not having very much luck. <laughs> but then, the guy filming notices something very bizarre in a window across the street. I think a little girl wants to hit the piñata too. Three figures with chalky gray skin seem to be watching from an upstairs window. Even stranger, one of them almost seems to be floating near the ceiling. Now, some video commenters say that the watching figures seem ghostly. However, others believe that they are simply sad children, watching and wishing that they were a part of the pinata fun. That's what I would think. So is this simply a bizarre optical illusion? Or Ghosts caught on camera. I don't get it. How's she floating on the ceiling? This would be the balcony, right? And this would be the ceiling right here. Or where the hell is she? What is that? Oh, look. That's where they met the two figures. So this is a balcony right here, right? And then the ceiling would be right here. How's she floating? I don't know. Let me know what you think. I think so her, the Haina hitting the piano was weak. Screams and shadows. Over on the popular YouTube ghost hunting channel, Proving Demons, a 
team is investigating a supposedly haunted pub in Sheffield, England with fellow ghost hunters Paranormal X. An important note on this video, they are streaming their investigation live. At first, the team starts with a typical EVP session. EVP session 1, DR60. Okay. Okay, uh, there's one thing already wrong with this video that I, it's one of my pet peeves. Why in the hell would you need sunglasses indoors in the dark? And they're too small for his head anyways, but why would, bro, what is the purpose? What is the purpose? The darkness is too bright. Like, I don't. Mm, I'm not, I know I'm not tripping. Hello, spirits. Thank you so them. much for. You're not gonna see them with those guys. For communicating with us tonight. Perhaps you could tell us how old you are, how old you believe you are at this moment. And I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say maybe those are the ones that go dark. But if they were actual like prescription glasses that go dark, they would go dark in the sunlight, and there is no sunlight. So, you get me? So they would be clear right now. You get me? So. Uh. But when they play their EVP recording back, they find something shocking. Yeah, you can't see, that's so why you put them down. Their recorder has picked up what sounds like horrifying inhuman screams in response to their questions, but it gets even stranger. The Proving Demons team picks up something completely unexpected on their live stream, something that would be very hard to fake. You see, the team has set up a laser grid system around the location. Yeah, we've also got a laser grid, as you can see, that's what all the crazy colored dots are. Um, would you like to explain to them what a laser grid does? I find that some people don't know what some of the equipment does. Yeah, just very quickly then, all these dots that you guys who are watching can see um, are all being projected from that little device just there. It's casting out green and red laser beams. Now, the reason we're going to be using that right. is... Hold on, I thought I saw someone right now when he did that. And red. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Look. Um, are all being projected from that do you see that a split second i just see something i know you've seen it too i know you've seen it i know you've seen it projected from what is, look 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 okay you see it right here it's gonna disappear right now watch watch that little device Gone. just there Gone. it's casting out green and red laser beams now the reason we're going to be using that is or the, well the theory is at least if anything crosses in front i just saw it Bro, I bet you anything they didn't catch that. That was that was very hard. I saw it just because I was luckily looking at that. Position. Of those beams, so i.e. a physical person were to walk across, then obviously, because the beams are pointing in that direction, they can block out the they'll, they'll block out okay, the so lights, obviously. Now watch as a member of the team named Simon is being interviewed. <laughs> that move right there. Okay, oh, I think Simon, what? What do you make of what you've just heard? All the EVPs, the one Andrew did at the beginning and the one you just witnessed? Uh, Andrew's, again, Class A EVPs. Um... Did you see it? As Simon is talking, something seems to walk in front of the laser grid, crossing the entire length of the room. Again, Class A EVPs. Um... This event was not mentioned in the live stream. It wasn't even noticed by the investigators at all. 
Is that okay? Uh, the thing is with this video is that there was around like I don't know, like seven, eight people in that room with them. There was a whole group of them. I bet you anything they didn't say anything because I'm pretty sure somebody walked in front and they knew someone walked in front of the lasers. That's why I feel like they didn't make a big deal out of it. And maybe Nuke, Nuke's top five. Um, I I think he probably just picked it up. But um, there are there's a lot of people in that room. YouTube viewers pointed this out later in YouTube comments. You can watch this full investigation of the haunted Sheffield pub over on their channel, Proving Demons. Down a dark hallway. Ace Castonia works at an animal clinic in Los Angeles. He says that since he began working there, he's experienced many strange, unexplainable things. Like this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna just pause it real quick. This is, <laughs> it's supposed to be scary, but these ones are not too scary to me, to be honest. And it became a little rough, so I'm not gonna lie, I picked that up. <laughs> Did you see it? An odd shadow seems to be lurking in the hallway. Watch as one dim light turns on, but the shadow is still there. Then as the hallway is fully illuminated, the shadow disappears completely. Okay. Uh, now you can see Ace's shadow here on the floor. So just what is this shadow? Let me know what you think. No exit. Reddit user Everyday Nurse Mom worked overnight shifts in a nursing home where the staff had experienced many odd occurrences. One night, she caught something truly creepy on Snapchat. This exit door is in a section of the nursing home that is reserved for patients suffering from dementia. These patients often try to wander off or leave the premises. The door alarm is set up to only beep when someone tries to exit by pushing on the door. Now the alarm beep could simply be explained away as a glitch in the system, but you can actually hear yeah. the door handle being forcefully pushed by something. So the question is, what is pushing on that door? One of the patients that passed away. Caught the... on camera. Nuke's top five viewer Devin works as a security officer for a manufacturing company. In this video, the security team at one of the manufacturing plants notices a strange unexplained dark shape on one of their security cameras. Okay guys, um, I'm actually gonna play the video right here. This is what they were talking about, that thing popping up on the screen. And now, at first I thought that was a bug. Now hold on, let me skip forward. There's a guard that's supposed to be coming on the, uh, coming up. There you go. I'm gonna go normal playback speed, but watch. One security guard heads out to investigate, but sees nothing. The guard monitoring the camera directs him towards the shape over the radio. Now, normally I would simply assume that any odd shadow like this on a security camera was simply a bug on the lens, and Devin says that he thought the same. But as the security guard approaches the dark shape, this happens. The guy on the radio is telling this guy that's walking up by the bench where to go. He's like, all right, move closer. And this is what happens when he gets close to it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I can't tell if it's beard. like a bug that on the lens and just a big coincidence or if that's actually like, if that's actually something. So was this just a very odd coincidence or did the security camera actually pick up something supernatural? 
Let me know what you think down in the comments. Sob Story A man named Michael was admitted to a hospital in Cebu City in the Philippines. Shortly after his arrival, he began to hear strange sounds early every morning. Hi, it's been days since I've been here in the hospital and I keep hearing this woman crying. It's really faint though. I'm not entirely sure if my camera or microphone can capture it. Try. Do you hear that? It's usually the same time of the day. It's every morning. There it is. It's really strange. How are you not freaked out right now? Please tell me I'm not the only one who can hear it. I'd be tripping. Michael says that during his entire hospital stay, the strange quiet crying occurred daily. However, there were no female patients on the same floor. The crying remains a mystery. One former nurse at the hospital claims to have regularly seen an apparition of a girl dressed in white roaming the hospital halls. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the time- That was crazy. Anyway, you guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video. I did enjoy the video, not in the usual way, like getting scared and all that. Um, I was clowning around a little bit. Um, these videos are, um, they were not as scary because there wasn't any background, like scary music. There wasn't any like slow, like you have to pay attention and expect something. These were kind of like a quick blah, blah, blah. And I caught the funny parts instead of the scary parts. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. I do always find ways to make it as entertaining as possible. Thank you guys so much for everything. Your love and support is very much appreciated. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and that sub button. It really helps the channel, helps me grow in this YouTube world. And you guys already know how it is. It's demons, scary things around there, ghosts and bad people always trying to hurt you. So you guys already know how it is. Keep through channel. I really, really hope to see you guys in the next video.